Welcome to a day in life of the Yabber and Lost Finsville. Welcome to my channel. Today is still September 16th, and I'm doing another video up for my viewers. And I just thought of some, something on top of my head, that, you know, something to talk about. And uh, I, okay, this is one of the reasons why I like hanging out with my little cousin because, you know, not that she looks like Dora the Explorer, but you know, that, that was like the past couple years ago, and hair's cut weird. Mom was always doing that, cutting her hair like that, and she doesn't like her hair to be cut like that, and she doesn't really want to cut her hair much anymore but she's made to and I said that's your your hair you know that's just your body your hair you know but you know your mom you know she's you know she's a strict person she goes you know whatever I say goes you know you're only you're only young you gotta listen to your parents and blah 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 and like whatever hey yeah, my little cousin has that same attitude because you know that's the way her mom treats her that the attitude and her dad treats her with some attitude and other people and so now it's rubbed off onto the little cousin so the reason why I like hanging out with my little cousin because she reminds me of my other cousin and now she is 27, 28 I think. When I first uh, see my little cousin she looks just like you know the little cousin now. And I uh, know they're all in the same last name and actually no she doesn't have the same last name but you know still the my grandfather's uh, side of the family. And she reminds me of that little cousin a long time ago that's you no know, 21, 22, 24, I said 23, what, 23 years ago, she was, she was like 4 or 5 anyway at that time, that's what my guess is, about 4 or 5, and the time she comes over, it's not always, you know, always fun to see my little cousins, you know, the boy cousins, the girl cousins, but this one, you know, kind of uh, attached to me, you know, following around, and she, she, if she's not following grandma or grandpa, she's following me around the, the, the property and stuff. And sometimes, you know, make sure that she doesn't get into any kind of, you know, too much trouble, get hurt, or, you know, that she's she's okay. And then, you know, she's with me, you know, grandpa or grandma's always worried about where she is and she, stuff like that. And calling the property, like, you know, always hear you across the property, you know, and being a little bit of grump. But I don't know, he's the old man he can, at the time, and he had, you know, he's kind of strict in his ways, in his own ways, and stuff like that. But anyway, sometimes she's hanging with, hanging with me, you know, sometimes reading her story, or telling her about a funny joke, or um, bringing around the um, the old farm, you know, uh, her, her and I feeding the chickens, or the ducks, and, uh, you know, by the old pond, throw some you know, pebbles in the pond. And, you know, talking about the old days with my dad, you know, carving, you know, uh, stuff in the tree and your, gran your grandpa had to get rid of that old tree because the carving my dad did was a false face and was scaring the chickens away I guess scaring the chickens away and you know we walk around the thing and you know she's got her own little toys and dolls and talking about this and that and, and full of a, a whole bunch of questions you know and it wasn't and then I had no problem asking and you know those questions that she had for me so uh, one thing she knows she had to stay away from is the turkeys. Some of the turkeys are, you know, little, little bastards and, you know, try to peck at her, you know, chase her around. She's a little bit scared. And then the dogs. And the, the dogs are, you know, well, there's a couple of different Rottweilers. And I guess they were my grandfather's dog, but they were my uncle's dog. And, and, you know, he didn't have a place to bring them to, so it stayed at my, my grandfather's place. And so it became my grandfather's dog, and he's feeding them. Now she stayed away from them, but you know, those little, those dogs were cool, I mean, there was no problems at all on that, um, and you know, she kind of scared because they're big dogs and she's only like four or five years old, and they were walking around in you know, the property and, uh, trying to keep her out of the old house, the old house, um, the first house that was built on that property, uh, fell in a long time ago. But uh, the things started rotting away and falling apart, and then they built a second house, even better than the first one. They should have fixed up the first one, because that house was bigger than the other house, but I don't know, I guess it's well, more well built than that house. And I'm not too sure if that's the house he built, I think. The house he built, or it was built there long before, I don't know. But anyway, I tried to keep her out of the house. It's mostly like a little playhouse, but it's gotten dangerous with the spiders and snakes and... Um, what do you call it, possums and stuff, they're going in and out there, and the, the, the ceiling roof's caving in, so I try to keep her out of that. So sometimes, you know, we're going uh, for a ride, you know, with, uh, with Grandpa, and going to get ice cream, or, you know, um, going to 
to the farm auction and, you know, get her a nice kitten. Um, we thought, you know, she was going to get one kitten and the one kid that was had the kittens from his farm was selling them. It's like, like, oh, we didn't want to buy all those kittens. There was four kittens and we only wanted one kitten. We didn't know that we were paying for, you know, um, I think it was like three or three to five dollars. I think went up to five dollars. We won. I was wondering why we won. It's like there's four kittens and that's five bucks each a kitten. It's like, really? That was only five bucks, you know, for one kitten. That's what I thought we had been done. We only won one. We don't want all of them. So I told the kids, like, you got three kittens there. You can put it back in the auction and, you know, and if you want. I said, well, he goes, well, um, then I had to do another number and then I'll stick around a little longer and stuff. And he didn't really like it. I mean, he was older than her, I mean, probably twice her age. He was kind of uh, a little bit upset because he's not getting the money he wants and he has these kittens. And so anyway, I got one kitten for her. And, you know, she's carrying around stuff like that and the cat and kitten, you know, takes off on it out of arms and then going underneath the bleachers and stuff like that. And I, I had to go and crawl in the bleachers trying to catch a kitten. And that kid, um, accidentally, you know, didn't close up the cage right and those other three kittens got out of the cage. Like, oh. So we were spent about, you know, like two to three hours catching kittens and one that bit me, you know, one that, uh, was, he was, he was a tough little guy too and grabbed him by the back of the neck and, um, come on, grabbed it by the back of the neck and then the kitten kind of, you know, stretched around and gave me a bite and, you know, kind of like, kind of still hold on to it. It's like, you know, did you bite me? So I'm trying to be nice to you. So taking taking each one by one, putting them back in the cage and he's a look at me and thinks, oh, thank you for the, and getting the kittens and still he's looks, looks really disappointed because they have to put him back in the, in the auction to sell these the other three kittens. But anyway, she, her kitten got out of her hands and then they're all running around underneath the bleachers and I got her cat kitten with her. And I said, you gotta hold on to this kitten a little tighter because, you know, you don't want to lose it. So, you know, we got out uh, there, you know, got out to the thing and uh, Grandpa's like, you know, she doesn't really need a kitten. She's pretty young and it's like, well, it's, it's pretty, it's cute, you know, cuddly. I mean, she has, if she has got to leave at the farm, leave at the farm and that's what it is, left on the farm. And sometimes I have my trailer in the house and, you know, Got tired of it in the house and kicked the cat out the door and you know, cat got older and then the cat you know ended up, you know, wandering more and more away from the house and but um you know that kitten ended up you know uh, taking off and he didn't see we didn't see this the kitten for I don't know months and months and months sometimes and it was at a neighbor's place and whatever. I guess she lost interest in the kitten, she was kinda of sad that the kitten was around but the thing is, like, she looked, looks like a lot like my little cousin now. And, you know, at five or six, you know, sometimes she's hanging with me in the trailer and, you know, playing video games and stuff like that. And grandfather being a, being a grump, it's like, it's like, I don't want her hanging out here. She, she goes, he goes, you know, you're an you're older person and she's a little girl and stuff and, you know, shouldn't be hanging out with you and it's like, blah, blah, blah. It's like, what's wrong with you? He's like... It's just my little cousin. We all hanging out and you know playing video games and you know, you know talking about stuff. And I, I I love my little cousin. You know, and he said he goes no no he goes no she's got to stay out here in the property or stay with us and then then the house so we know where she's at and and then you're like whatever you know him being a grump you know telling her she's got to leave the trailer playing video games. Oh that was I think that was Nintendo. I was like just regular with Nintendo at that time and playing different games and she was getting different, different games, you know, and hanging out and talking and, and having fun, you know. That's the way, that's the way old people are, you know. If you're laughing and giggling and stuff like that, I'm wondering what you're laughing and giggling about. You can't, you can't laugh and giggle. You can't, you can't have your fun. You can't, you know, do things like that. It's like you, you gotta be, you know, sitting still and you gotta be quiet and you can't go out and play. You gotta sit still and like, these older people are just grumps. So, you know, a little over, over time, you know, sometimes I'm not there when she stops by, you know, I'm at a friend's house or dad's or other uncles and aunts place or, you know, out of town, um, at a friend's house and stuff. And sometimes I miss, oh, I miss my little cousin, eh? And then sometimes another cousin that comes by her, I think it was her, I think it was her brother. Yeah, it was her brother and he's getting himself a little bit of trouble and I told him, I said, I... I said, I got used to get in trouble when I was younger and 
you know, I smarten up, and like, if you're going to get in trouble, you're going to get yourself, in, you know, put in, uh, into, um, I forget what it's called now. I think it's called like a halfway house with that, you know, for um, criminals and stuff, the criminal kids. And, you know, he's somewhat listening to me and somewhat not, you know, he wants to still, you know, you know steal and um, do damage to people's property and, you know, freak out and, and you know, and start little fires now. That's one thing too, start little fires. I told him, I said, you know, you don't want to keep doing that, you know, and you're going to get yourself in trouble with the law and you're going to be going, you're going away from your parents and you're going to be in, you know, some of the custody and you won't be able to see any of us stuff. And I, I know, I guess it worked out for maybe a, a year or two and then, yeah, I guess he went, went into the, the custody thing um, for for a fight at school or something like that, and he really beat the crap out of this kid. And I guess that's something about a bully or something like that, and he just had enough of this kid's you know, crap, you know, treating him like crap and stuff, and he had enough of it, and that's when he had a fight. And, and he went to the detention center because that kid was really beat up, and that... That was not only just it, you know, it was also, you know, stealing money from his parents or stealing things from stores and, you know, it just led up to, you know, that big blow at that school and I guess that was the last straw and, uh, I don't know, I think went in there a month or two or something like that, a few months or something, I don't know, I don't know how much time, but he's been in and out of it over the years and when he became a man, or whatever, you know, you can describe man, man, he became become a man at 18. I think he'd become a man at 16. You know, he was like uh, 13, 14 at that time, and you know, I'm like four or five years older than him, I think, at that time. And I guess, you know, he became a man around 20 or 21, and then he stopped his, his uh, criminal ways, and I don't know. I haven't really seen him for such a long time. I don't know if he's still alive. I think, I think I don't know if, he, I don't know if he's still alive. I know one of the one of the old uh, cousins had passed away a long time ago because of car accident or something. A car accident? No. Oh, it was a pill over D. I think that's. What, I think that was the same kid. You know, he got older and still still thinks he can you know be above the law and stuff. So when I was not home and uh, moved away from uh, my grandfather's to my dad's and then sometimes I'm not at my grandfather's and. My little cousins are sometimes there, and the other cousins are there, and I miss them. And all the times, the the kids don't always go there because my grandparents are always such a grump all the time. And sometimes, you know, they come by, and sometimes they don't. I know the uncles; they always kind of came by to steal off of me. You know, sometimes even even it's as long as it was collector guns or uh, food or money or um, some of his farm equipment, like you know, like weed ear and you know more and what whatever you know he's he has and that's why he doesn't always have like one of my um uncles around that's why i always see my grandfather was keeping an eye on him. one uncle and you know that one uncle hasn't changed he's still crazy and doing whatever he wants in his life so anyway i'm going to wrap this up and then continue on to the next video so stay tuned for the next video guys if you guys like this video please do hit the like button Please subscribe to me. Make sure to be on your channel. My bad for you. My bad for me. Please do tell your friends and family about me. Thank you for being this video. Tell me when you watch it. We all have nice days. More night. Remember, it's better to be Aboriginal than original.